the game has started. Orion is the purple player, and it looks like Odin is going to be the yellow player. Excuse me, this map was not actually Blue Storm. It's Hills of Storm. Um, and if you're an English speaker, um, and if you're watching this, you probably are, uh, they call this map Wuthering Heights. So the map has two names. Why does the map have two names? Does the map have an identity crisis? I don't know. But as long as you know where we're playing, we can get this game going. So this game might turn out to be a little bit uh, more different than we would have expected it to be on Blue Storm. This is, uh, again, a map where we do not have a small entrance, though. So we can see a, a stronger emphasis on Zerglings with Utilis later on. This is also uh, a map where the expansion is harder to secure. We have not seen either player uh, put a spawning pool down yet, so there will be no nine pool opening. Actually, we, there's still time for that to possibly happen. And the problem with nine pooling, though, on this map is when you can get that uh, those early zerglings out and do a little bit of harassment on the drones. If they hold it off, then they already have uh, you know three more drones ahead of you, and then it's just trouble. We do see the second Overlord out for both players, so it will be a pool on 12 or a hatchery on 12. I'm, of course, referring to the boot count. That's how StarCraft players uh, memorize build orders, is by the boot count at the top right. And the hatchery will be at the expansion for Orion. And the hatchery in the main for Odin. So two different styles here. However, if... Well, I, and to be honest, I think if Orion can last into the uh, mid-game of Zerg vs. Zerg, which is about the seven-minute marker, <clears throat> then we could probably see this game turn out um, in favor for him, since he will have already had that uh, extra ex uh, extractor secured. More than likely, from the uh, yellow player, Odin, <clears throat> we're probably going to see a lot of Zerglings um, without too much of an emphasis on Mutalus right off the bat, simply because uh, he'd have to spend another 300 minerals to get that hatchery at the expansion. So what we may see, and it could turn out differently. It depends a lot on um, you know how the zerglings are used in the next uh, few minutes. But we could see uh, the uh, yellow player Odin uh, just try to overwhelm his opponent with zerglings early on. And as usual, it's almost entirely female here um, in the audience. A lot of people don't know this, but there's more female Star uh, StarCraft uh, fans showing up to these events than men. This is probably the, actually I know for a fact, this is the only uh, eSport where that's actually going on. StarCraft is just that good, and the players are just that uh, badass. Layer now coming out at the same time for both players. I assume that within those uh, four eggs, we're going to see nothing but Zerglings. They don't have a very good idea of, um, or at least, oh, uh, Odin doesn't have a great idea of what his opponent's doing. He hasn't spotted uh, the expansion yet. Meanwhile, uh, O'Brien, the purple player, is knows right off the bat uh, what is what. Uh, I should say what. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, I'm getting these players' names swapped. You should know right off the bat what his opponent's doing because think about it. If he gets the overload there right away, then he can just respond accordingly. Maybe squeeze out a few drones here and there and uh, pull out the win. So both players will probably be watching each other more than actually hovering over their base. Only going back to occasionally move the drone to the mineral patch. The hatchery is more than likely hockeyed at five. Since you can use the uh, ring uh, finger and pinky finger to do uh, most of the macroing off of the S key that way. Or the index finger is on the five. The spire now up for both players. No, oh, well, he will get the spire there. That drone is taking a nap. There he goes. Time to become a spire drone. Women in the audience again. That one probably drinking vodka or something. Get a little buzz on before the uh, before the match gets crazy. So both players now uh, do have the Zergling speed. It looks as though, well, clearly Orion is more than prepared for uh, the Zergling uh, break, and it looks like, well, it seems as though Odin is actually where that is backed off. Now we're going to see a, little, a few Zerglings try to sneak around, uh, similar to what we saw last game. Odin is indeed uh, going to try to sneak in here, and it may work. But look at this, nice circling control, getting in the way just a little bit. 
Here come the Zerglings. It's all going to come down to can he take out? No, he needs to be attacking the drones. Moving over here now and taking out the drone of the extractor. One drone, two drones. Now maneuvering around. Going to go back in for another kill move. And here he comes once again. Got to control those drones. Right, another drone goes down. Only two on the Vespian gas. Mutalisks are on the way. Meanwhile, a huge counterattack is about to happen. Oh, Riot knows he has to recover. Two Zergly's still alive, but no, they've got... They've given up. And this uh, entrance is a lot smaller than I remembered in this map. is so new in the tournament. It does look as though Odin uh, can possibly hold this position, but it's hard to say because Orion has so many Zerglings. Here comes some more. If Odin can possibly hold this off and here the Mutalists do assist with that. It looks like he will be successful. And I think it's going to be almost impossible for Orion to recover now after losing the majority of his uh, Zerglings. And then, okay, here come the Scourge though. Not controlled at all. He will take out this Overlord. He of course does not want to use that. Whoop! The Overlord lived to see another day. Clearly. Clearly Odin is sick individual who wants to torment that overlord just a little bit longer but finally he put him uh, put him down so as I was saying <clears throat> Odin has a big advantage right now as far as drones mutalisks and in a sense zerglings uh, go and it's going to be up to whether or not Orion can do some type of great harassment to recover I wouldn't even be surprised if uh, Odin is squeezing out just another drone or two yeah, as I was saying, that entrance is a lot uh, smaller than I remembered it. Um, in between the expansion um, and the main. So that was a pretty smart move by Odin, I think, to go with the two hatch. Although a lot of this uh, advantage for Odin right now has to do with these Zerglings taking out a few drones. It's a very smart technique to try to draw your opponent into the middle of the map with the Zerglings, then rush in there. Here comes another Zergling. And... I'm not sure what he's going to do with that. He might just be trying to rush in there and see uh, how many drones his opponent has, whether or not he should be going for that harassment. No, he does not have drones mining in that expansion. That's, that's easier to defend. Um, it's easier to defend the, uh, all the drones if they're just all together. The mutalists kind of shepherding the drones around. It's a very difficult balance between Mutalisks and Scourge. You don't want to get too many Scourge, uh, and you don't want to get just too many Mutalisks. You have to have a, a nice balance of both. Usually what ends up happening is... Okay, here's the battle now, and it looks like great control for Odin. And, and if he can just keep these Mutalisks alive using that patrol attack, nice control once again. Zerglings now on the move, and look at this, a few more Zerglings, a lot of Zerglings coming in here to take out the remainder of, uh, oh wow, he could get the expansion the hatchery so easily. This is bad news for Orion, Odin is just coming out on top, and Overlord is now being picked off, here come the Scorch, and once again, this terrific control micro. He looks like he's going to go for that hatchery, splitting up the Zerglings, some going to the drones. No, he, is he going to get it? One Zergling down here, but not doing his job. He should be attacking those drones. The hatchery will live. And it, it looks as though... Wow, this is really turning out great for Odin O'Brien. Having a very difficult time taking out an Overlord, too, before he leaves. I believe after taking out both of those Overlords, it's very possible for Orion to be in the negative food count, but considering he lost a lot of Zerglings in that battle, uh, I could be wrong. However, he will have to spend another hundred uh, minerals on that extra Overlord. And this is really going to slow down his ability to catch up in drones. Here comes some more Lings. And meanwhile, it appears as though Odin has distracted uh, Orion. Here come the Scorch trying to catch that. Wow, Odin has just proven to have unbelievable control with those Mutalists against Scorch. Here come a few more Zerglings. He has distracted his opponent. Although I have to say, great control by Orion, not allowing his drones to be taken down. That expansion is at a very high risk of being picked off with some more Zergling harassment. Actually, we can see that um, while Odin is doing great, he has not really opted to get that many drones at all this entire game. And taking a look over here, 
he should really have those drones split up a little bit better. The bottom mineral patches should be uh, mined from. Now he's continuing to make more Zerglings. Odin uh, attempting to move in once again. Not ever once uh, Sabi to try to macro and make his own drones. Instead, focusing more on trying to take out his opponents. Here come the Zerglings now. Scourge uh, flying everywhere. Uh, Scourge crashing into Scourge. Although, I, okay, once again, Overlords are getting picked off. He pulls out just in time with a patrol harassment or uh, control. He should be able to pick off the Scourge. Very nice. And now here come a few extra Scourge. It's a all out brawl here with these Mutalists. Hard to say who's winning. In fact, it's not anymore because there's only Yellow Mutalists left. And Odin has won that game, making it look easy. Well done, to Odin, wow. Orion losing that too. I can see him in his booth now, he does not look very happy with that loss. Meanwhile, Odin, you can see a face of Reed's relief. And he will indeed uh, advance in the brackets. And again, congratulations to Odin. Those are some great Zerg vs. Zerg games. Really doing it himself.